Hello, Charlie Carl, Rick Stewart. Welcome once again to Southeastern Television Wrestling. An outstanding hour of pro wrestling coming your way. And uh, to start it off, let's uh, get some news out of the way. A lot of big events coming up in the arena. Uh, indeed, yes. Finally, the match that everybody's been waiting for has been signed. It's the Southeastern Tag Team Championship on the line. The Rat Patrol will be defending against Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs. With this stipulation, the losing team must split. The losing team of this match will no longer be a team here in the Southeast. That'll be uh, one of the subjects on our personality profile coming up a little bit later on in today's program. Also, Tornado Tag Team matchup coming in the arena. That's all four men in the ring at the same time as Wrestling 1 and 2 take on Bob and Steve Armstrong. They're also featured on today's television lineup. Indeed they are, as well as Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs will be wrestling on TV today. Two new faces here in the Southeast. First, as you know, Vic Rain still remains suspended by the National Wrestling Alliance. No word on when he's going to be back. But his uh, man, or his protege, shall we say, the Ontario Mauler will be in the arenas and will be on TV later today. Plus, the first appearance of Pork Chop Bobby Cash, one of the most sensational black stars ever to step inside the squared circle. Pork Chop will be wrestling a little bit later this hour, part of a tremendous lineup, Charlie. And a tremendous lineup it is, and we'll be getting to that uh, just right away. Uh, you'll be seeing Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs as tag team partners on today's program. Boris Zirkoff in action. Uh, the Ontario Mauler that uh, Rick was just talking about moments ago. Uh, Pork Chop Cash will be in action, as well as uh, Bob and Steve Armstrong features his tag team partners. A lot of great action coming your way in the next hour on Southeastern Television Wrestling. You make your plans to stay with us. Right now, let's go to the ring for our first match of the day, and here's Rick. Ladies and gentlemen, today's first event is one fall, a 10-minute time limit. Your referee is Larry Brock. Introducing in the corner to my left at a combined total of 480 pounds, Jimmy Golden and Jim Backlund. Their opponents, at a combined total of 495 pounds, managed by Mr. Billy Spears, Arn Anderson, and Jerry Stubbs. Anderson and Stubbs going up against Backlund and Golden. Anderson and Stubbs, a uh, unique situation for them coming up in the arena. A lot on the line in this big match, the Southeastern Tag Team Championships on the line. Not only are they at stake, and uh, the Rat Patrol certainly would be the ones you would look at a whole lot to lose in a situation, because uh, not only could they lose the Southeastern Tag Team Championships, but uh, the losing team must split and no longer be a team here in the Southeastern Wrestling Area. Good arm drag takedown by Golden. And, you know, with uh, all that uh, has been going in their favor for this young uh, team, the Rat Patrol Incorporated, that uh, certainly would be a bad situation. It's certainly all on the line for them this week, Charlie. Um, definitely something has got to happen. The Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol out to the desk. Austin, we were just talking about the match that's been signed in the arena between the Rats and Libby. Golden now catching Anderson up with full body slam between Anderson and Stubbs and the Rat Patrol where the losing team will cease to exist as a team here. This well, it's certainly a pressure situation, uh, Rock and Rick, and uh, there's a lot at stake here. And let's face it, both of these teams have built tremendous reputations. Very successful, uh, both of them, you have to kind of tip your head to both of them, and uh, really this one's for all the marvels, so it's just something that uh, I personally certainly want to be there to view too, because I'm definitely interested in this too. One thing I'd like to mention, Rick, first of all, I really, really sincerely want to thank everybody, uh, all the uh, Austin Army, all the fans, all my fans, uh, the Idol family for uh, backing me up, supporting me like they have in the, in the past four or five weeks, and uh, it certainly is, is, is a real good feeling. It gives me goosebumps to know that really Idol Mania is just as strong as it ever has been, you know, and, uh, and I'm looking right now over one Billy Spears, Rick, and you know this situation as well as I do. Uh, he made, he's made, made some comments that he is intent on getting rid of uh, getting rid of Austin Idol, you know, and his good friend Rip Rogers, he couldn't cut the mustard because he's no longer in the area. But Spears has uh, is blatantly made the comments that he's, uh, he's not going to rest until he gets rid of Austin Idol. So all that remains to be seen, Mr. Spears. Of course, uh, Roy Zirkoff already has interfered in one of Austin Idol's matches. A belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Jimmy Backlund from Iron Anderson. And Anderson and Stubbs, Charlie, seem to be really taking control at this point in the match. Tag is made with Jerry Stubbs. Comes in with that right to the midsection on Backlund. Takes his man into those ring ropes. High back body drop. Ooh. 
Jimmy Backlund must have been up a good six. Yeah, he must have. That was a, that was a tremendous uh, bad drop on the part of uh, Mr. Olympia. And I still refer to him as Mr. Olympia, Rock and Rick, simply because uh, I still feel in the bottom of my heart that Mr. Olympia wants to be liked, you know, because you go around the various arenas around the country, and I'm not just talking about in the southeast, where he primarily wrestles, but I've, I've been on other big cars with him throughout the entire country, and, uh, and the people, it's kind of a mixed reaction, but you can tell they want to accept him, they want him to be like he used to be, and I sincerely believe that Mr. Olympia wants to turn it around, you know, and if he'll just get his head on right, I believe we'll find out that Mr. Olympia truly wants to be a fan in favor just like yours truly right here dollar 243 pounds las vegas nevada the women's pet the men's regret austin Iowa. so come on Olympia, why don't you turn your head around dollar and join the gang over here all right now we saw minutes ago a little bit of the kind of man that Arn anderson is subs tried for the elbow he missed on backland and tagged to jimmy golden and golden takes over now against both men charlie and it's golden firing away at stubbs and anderson Anderson going down, Stubbs getting that boot to the midsection. And Why do you keep going over here and get you? This is the biggest I've problem. I've heard no. enough out of you. I've heard enough out of you, Otto, and I'm tired of you coming over here. Now, you've come over here and said too much, too many times. Now, you're through, my friend, and I don't want to get you around here creating trouble between my partners again. Don't do it again, Otto. Problem, Mr. Spears, and you too, Anderson. The truth hurts, darling. The truth hurts right there. The truth hurts, darling. Why aren't you taking a good look at yourself? Take a good look at yourselves, Jackson. They just lost a match. I think they just got counted. They got counted out of the They lost a match. Well, apparently, we've got new winners in the ring there. Jimmy Golden and Jimmy Baxter right there. I told you all along about Mr. Olympia. I told you all along about Mr. Olympia right here. Listen to the people right here, Rock and Rick. You listen to the people right here. Let them make the decision. It's all your fault, Idol, right now. It's all your fault. Come on, the big boss, and let's see if you can back it up. Uh, we have an irate Billy Spears, Arn Anderson, and Jerry Stubbs. And due to Mr. Spears and Mr. Anderson out here like they were, that, uh, Mr. Spears and Mr. Anderson out would hold responsible for that match. Wouldn't you? Oh, this, they're arguing the point about it right now. They're right in each other's face. Anderson and Spears are the ones that got distracted from right. the match. Right. Jerry Stubbs. It, um, if I were scoring uh, this situation, I would say that Anderson and Spears were the ones responsible for this situation. Something, uh, something's definitely wrong here. Jerry Stubbs still standing out by ringside with a look of compliment on his face. Speaking of Stubbs and Anderson and Spears and their whole little collective organization, if we could, let's see if we can get the Rat Patrol Incorporated out here. We've got a piece of video, of course, that uh, directly concerns them, a six-man tag team match that they were involved in against uh, the combined team of Arn Anderson, Jerry Stubbs, and Billy Spears. All right, uh, if the Rat Patrol would uh, come out, we go ahead and uh, roll this particular piece of tape upstairs. This uh, six-man tag action. That's right. Look at Billy Spears. Ain't he a sight? So eyes. Look at that. Well, that's, that's a disgrace to humanity there. <laughs> the thing about it is, we made him get out there. He had to be. He had to be in the ring this time. We finally got him in there. But uh. Billy Spears, Yeah. Oh, look at Scott. He took his head off there, boy. That was good. You my best shot. The final outcome is Casper the Friendly Ghost, Miss Billy Spears, is going to jump in the ring and get her little booty pin down. One, two, three. <laughs> So the Rat Patrol Incorporated now in the ring. It's Scott Armstrong, the legal man, in, and Arn Anderson, the legal man. And now the tag to the former wrestler, Billy Spears. Yes, that's right. It's true. He was oh, a wrestler oh, at one oh. time, but look at this. Okay. We finally got him in the ring where we want him, right here. Now, this match ended in a lot of controversy, at least for the team of Anderson and Stubbs. For you guys, it turned out pretty well. That's right. We've come out victorious. No question about that. Right here, you see Billy. I got him in the ring. Boy, I've been waiting a long time for this right here. I guarantee you that. Boy, that, was a, that was a heavy load. Here I have. I've got him right here. But a little bit too quick for the man there. At this time, of course, the Tonka Kid is on the floor, still fighting with Jerry Stubbs, and now it's you and Billy Spears all in the room. That's right, me and Billy right there. There, now it's Billy, uh, 
P head down and Billy one two three. The Rat Patrol has won the match. We we'll beat it. Billy Spears right there. One two three in the middle of the ring. That's Thank it. y'all very much. Well, now it's time to come down to the loser split. Loser team mm -hmm. split. We're ready for them. Brother. That's right. The Rat Patrol. We stuck together. We proved to the people that we are the Southeastern Tag Team Champions, and we're going to stay the champions. We're not going to leave. They can do whatever they want to, but we're going to stay together once and for all. Right, guys. Well, well, my call. Look for my legs. All right, so the Rat Patrol and Corporal the Southeastern Tag Team Champions. It's going to be a tough one in the arena. We'll have more of Southeastern television wrestling in just a moment. Here's a weather extra with BRC6 forecaster Dan. It's a tremendous night of Southeast True Championship Wrestling. This Monday night, Birmingham's Beltwell Auditorium at 8 p.m. You'll see sensational black star Pork Chop Cash meet Paul Brown. U.S. Junior Title, The Rat Patrol, and Tommy Gilbert. Jimmy Golden takes on the Ontario Mauler. Tornado Tag Rules as Bob and Steve Armstrong meet Mr. Wrestling Number 1 and Mr. Wrestling Number 2. Then, Southeastern Tag Team Title, the losing team must split as the Rat Patrol meet Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs. And in the main event for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship, Austin Idol defends against Boris Zirkoff. Monday night, Beltwell Auditorium at 8 p.m. Monday night at Batwell Auditorium, one thing's for sure, something is going to be settled. The Southeastern Tag Team titles of the Rat Patrol will be on the line. The losing team will cease to exist as a team here in the Southeast when the Rats defend against Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs. Rat Patrol, you've done one thing you shouldn't have done. You embarrassed Billy Spears and you embarrassed his mother. You undressed me right in the middle of the ring and made me wrestle almost in my underwear. Well, you don't do that. You don't embarrass me. And in the split match, brother, Iron will have a partner, and you will have to be split up. You'll be leaving the, leaving the building in three different cars, and you'll be no longer a team, and we will be the team and the champions. Monday night, Boutwell Auditorium, probably the most serious match yet for the Rat Patrol. That's very true. First off, I'd like to say to Mr. Billy Spears, though, that nothing could be embarrassing to him like it was to us to have to be in the same, same ring with him looking the way he did. But as for Mr. Anderson and Mr. Stubbs, you know, they seem pretty confident about this match and everything, but one thing's for sure, the Rat Patrol is going to be in at 110%. We've all three invested a lot of time and money into this. This is something that we aren't going to give up at the drop of a hat. You can count on that. Johnny, the tag titles are on the line. That's right. You know, it's going to be a very important night for the Rat Patrol. You know, we, since we started out, we've been together some time now, and uh, like Scott said, we've worked hard together, and we've proved to the people that we are the Southeastern Tag Team Champions. But... Uh, Come uh, Monday night there at Boutwell at uh, that new time, 8 o'clock, we're going to be here, we're going to be ready, and we're not going to get split up no matter what. You know, I've seen a lot of things going on with the Rat Patrol over the past couple of months, and uh, this is something that really needs to be settled once and for That's all. That's exactly right, and finally we've got it, losing team splits. Tell them about it, Tonka. I told them about it, Tonka. I told them about it, Tonka. I told them about it, Tonka. Could we have some kind of a translation on that, please? <laughs> we ain't going to lose. We don't know. We ain't going to lose. That's right. That's the bottom line. The Rabbit Patrol is going to stay together. We've been a team. We're going to stay a team, and we're going to stay the champions, and we're not going to let Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs put it into us. That's for sure. Also, one thing to Mr. Tommy Gilbert, don't think it's going to be a cakewalk taking that U.S. junior title, because that's not going to happen either. It all comes to a head right. Monday night, Beltwell Auditorium at 8 o'clock, tag titles, losing team splits at Beltwell Monday night. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is one fall, a 15-minute time limit. In the corner to my left, 275 from Louisiana, Kingfish Levinsky. His opponent at 275 pounds from Russia, Boris Zerkov. Kingfish Levinsky taking on uh, the big Russian Boris Zerkov, of course, being assisted by his manager, Billy Spears. Collar and elbow in the ring. It's uh, Zerkov. Ooh. Right to the uh, spinal column. Ooh. Zerkov wastes no time in going right to Levinsky. Now throwing his man back, hitting that uh, apron of the ring, then out on the floor. 
And Boris Zirkov just flailing away on Kingfish Levinsky. Kingfish Levinsky never really even had a chance once the match got started. This is the way Zirkov has been for the, like the last three weeks, ever since he finally beat Rick McGraw. Uh, and, you know, to clear up that situation, he's been on an intensive training program. And Billy Spears has apparently sent him on a mission against the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol. And uh, it seems to be the case. And I believe Mr. Spears has uh, said that he would stop at nothing to get Austin Idol out of this area because uh, Austin Idol has definitely caused this man a little bit of problem. Okay, you heard that. Uh, the comments of Mr. Billy Spears for what they're worth. Still to come on Southeastern Championship Wrestling today, Charlie. Match I'm really looking forward to. A former American's heavyweight champion, Pork Chop Cash, will be in action. Plus Bob and Steve Armstrong, a very important personality profile. Still a lot of good wrestling action to come this hour. Zirkoff now just slowly and methodically destroying Kingfish Levinsky in the ring. Billy Spears watching very calmly from his corner post. And Zirkoff, Zirkoff's up on that second rope. Levinsky struggling up to his... Ooh. He caught him with that clothesline off the second rope. And there's no way he's coming out of that, Charlie. Kingfish Levinsky defeated by... Look at, I've seen Zirkoff do this before. Look how he drapes that Russian flag over his uh, opponent's body. That's not sportsmanship. Mr. Spears, uh, I agree with that 100%. Mr. Spears preoccupied with Austin Idol, saying that uh, that was going to be Idol in a very short period of time. That remains to be seen. A lot of great action still to come. Right now, what's this very important word? This is a special Southeastern Championship Wrestling update. Already on today's program, you have seen a team of Stubbs and Anderson in tag team competition. However, what you're seeing now is an event that took place some three to four hours following the taping of today's edition of Southeastern Championship Wrestling. The match in which uh, Austin Idol was going against Boris Zirkoff, and what you're about to see is a situation that occurred when Austin Idol was trying... Uh, uh, well, Jerry Stubbs came to the aid of Austin Idol in a very awkward situation, and what happened to Mr. Stubbs following uh, the time that he came down to help Austin Idol. Boris Zirkoff, Austin Idol in the ring, Billy Spears at ringside. You see Idol going for the figure four leg lock, Spears coming in with the cane, and now uh, it's Billy Spears that uh, is about to do damage to Austin Idol. He has that cane. He also uh, had a pair of scissors and was going to cut the hair of Austin Idol. Now here you see Arn Anderson coming down, Jerry Stubbs coming in. Stubbs trying to stop what uh, is about to take place. Anderson swinging now. Stubbs beginning to work on both Spears, Anderson, and Zirkoff. And what you're about to see, uh, very bad situation for Jerry Stubbs in which he was injured at the hands of Spears, Anderson, and Zirkoff. The extent of the injury at this time is not known. We will have an update next week on Southeastern Championship Wrestling and uh, bring you this whole videotape. Also following this incident, an injury took place to Billy Spears. But here you're seeing uh, the fire being thrown by Arn Anderson, Spears, and Zirkoff. That is a situation update next week. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Your ring officials remain the same. In the corner to my left, the 215 pounds, Montgomery, Alabama's Al Scott. His opponent at 235 pounds, parts unknown, the Ontario Mauler. Ontario Mauler, uh, we're seeing the, for the first time in action on Southeastern Television Wrestling against Al Scott. Mauler. Obviously, a connection with Vic Rain, who has, uh, most of you know, been suspended from the Southeastern Wrestling Area at least until the month of September. And the fans at ringside were just talking to me about that situation with Vic Rain. Uh, something definitely is in the air with this Ontario Mahler. Uh, I hate to use the word hitman, but that's probably the closest uh, description that you could come. 
still to come on Southeastern Television Wrestling, uh, Bob and Steve Armstrong in action, tag team partners for the first on television. And we'd like to invite all of you to stay tuned coming up uh, following this match for a most interesting personality profile. Oh, Rick. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Rick has a chance to talk to Pork Chop Cash, his introduction to the Southeastern Wrestling area. We'll be seeing an act him in action a little bit later on. Plus, uh, the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol, and uh, we'll be talking about the big match coming up in the arena. That will be the uh, situation where the losing team must split as a team, Anderson and Stubbs and the Rat Patrol. Uh, the fans have been waiting for this match for quite some time, Charlie, and this will definitely settle that issue. One of these teams will cease to exist uh, by the next edition of Southeastern Championship Wrestling. Now, the Ontario Mahler wrenching deep for a gut wrench suplex. Got a little bit high, but still had the upper body strength to power Al Scott over. A count of two from referee Larry Brock, and this Mahler goes right back to work on this young man from Montgomery, Alabama. Taking Scott hit first into the turnbuckle. The Ontario Mahler continuing the attack on Al Scott. It'd be interesting to see. I know Jimmy Golden is really keyed up about this Ontario Mahler. He's had uh, in the past different guys come into the area saying we're going to get Jimmy Golden and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. But uh, the situation between Jimmy and Vic Rain was just so bad and really still is that uh, this match is going to be a classic confrontation. I'm almost positive. And the Mahler once again taking to the air, flying elbow. He pins Scott. And a little assist with the tights. He got the win. The winner of the Ontario Mall. A lot of great action still to come right now. Stay tuned for a very special personality profile. Important matches fixing to come up here in the southeastern area. We'll be talking about several of them in the next couple of minutes. A very important personality profile today on Southeastern Championship Wrestling. But right at the very start, I'd like to welcome a man to the southeastern area who's got quite a name for himself in pro wrestling. Since the early 70s when he was the America's heavyweight champion and now on up into the 80s to become one of the biggest box office attractions in pro wrestling, Pork Chop Cash making his first appearance and welcome to the southeast. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. But you know one thing? I heard a lot about these wrestlers here. I think <laughs> they're not glad to see me here because I come here to kind of straighten that thing. Because everybody said things running rough, things getting raggedy. But I am the man to put things right back in line. And I'm going to tell you. See, I ain't coming here and doing a whole lot of talking. Brother, I'm going to back up what I say. So brothers and sisters, you listen to what I say. Because I'm going to lay it on just straight down to you. Hey. I am the greatest. You know, you may have seen the best, but you've never seen the greatest. I am the greatest. So right here, you will see me. So when you see me in your town, don't miss me. Because let me tell you, because you miss it, you miss the greatest night of your life to see the Pork Chop Cash. Pork Chop Cash is certainly one of the most exciting stars in pro wrestling. Speaking of uh, excitement and big stars, the problems with Rip Rogers were in the past, but now, Austin, you seem to be getting into a little bit of difficulty with uh, Boris Zirko. Well, that's true, you know, but uh, just real, real, very briefly, you know, this Pork Chop Cash, he kind of reminds me of Austin Ali, you know, he's so humble, and you know, he didn't even fail to mention that. He spared Muhammad Ali, he's been live on stage with Prince Dollar, he's done it all. Mr. Black Soul, the Black Stallion, and you're looking at the White Stallion, and it's true, and I want to mention one, one thing real quick here, Rick. I want to, from the bottom of my heart, I want, to, I want to say thank you to all the fans who have backed me up and supported me for the last five weeks since I've returned to the area. We got rid of one jerk by the name of Rip Rogers. He is history, darling. He's in the archives. Now, Billy Spears is intent on dumping me, Rick. Yes, indeed he I is. mean, he is really intent on getting rid of Austin Idol. Well, darling, I want to tell you one thing. That big Russian has already stuck his nose in my business one time. And I'm telling you one thing, Russian, and I want you to listen real good. You know, you, you stand for everything that I'm against. You stand for everything that America's against. You may be a communist, and you may think Russia is supreme. Well, I'm laying something on you, Jack. I'm going to show you what supremacy is all about. Because, you see, in America, darling, if we're talking about freedom, and it's going to give me the freedom to take this baby right here and jam it down your throat. It's going to give me the freedom to take you by the nap of the neck and run you into a steel post. You come on and get this title, baby, if you think you're man enough. Come on, Jack. 
The match has been signed. Southeastern title will be on the line. Right now, Charlie Platt standing by with the challenger, along with his manager, Billy Spears. Here's Charlie in the words of Boris Zirkoff. Off an idol. Let me tell you something right now but at the beginning of the program. Let me tell you something. You've caused a lot of trouble out here with the Spears family. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know why you want to do it, but you're doing it. But let me say something right here. This man right here is going to be the one to take that South, South, Southeastern title away from you. You won it the first night in the area, and you're going to lose it, my friend, to this man right here. Just so be ready and be on time, my friend, because this man, Boris Zirkoff, is going to beat you, boy. I don't know if he's going to show up twice, Austinator, twice. I have embarrassed you. I have humiliated you. What have you done? You have done nothing, Arthur. You are a coward. Just like the color of your hair. You're yellow, Austin Arthur. A typical American who does nothing, just talks a lot. Well, Arthur, I'm going to embarrass you. And I'm going to humiliate you. I'm going to lay this flag over you when I beat you, Arthur. I'm going to take your title. The American money, that's all that matters to me. Remember Flight 007, Arthur? You stuck the nose in our business. You stuck your nose in our land. And you went down, didn't you? Every time, Russia Supreme, I'm going to take your title, Otto. Remember that. All right, Boris Zirkoff, something else that you're faced with a problem with this week, Mr. Spears. Uh, I don't have uh, any problem. Well, uh, your tag team combination, Stubbs and Anderson, will be taking on the Rapid Patrol Incorporated Southeastern tag titles on the line. Special stipulation, the losing team must split as a team. We did not have a chance to get your team as a Stubbs and Anderson together for comments, but separately we have their comments, and I'd like for you to hear them right now. Here's the comments of Arn Anderson. We're trying to interview Arn Anderson for this special edition of Personality Profile. He seems to be previously occupied with some kind of a phone commitment. As soon as he gets off, hopefully we can have his words about his match tonight with uh, Mr. Stubbs. Just hang on a minute. Just hang on a minute. Okay. I'm going to interrupt this important phone call for one thing. I got a little message for you, Stubbs. Six months ago, I took you as a partner because I told you what I wanted. I wanted the Southeastern Tag Belts. Back then, you were tough, you were hungry, and that's what you wanted, too. Here lately, it seems like you've lost your priorities a little bit. Let me tell you something, Stubbs. Signing autographs and kissing babies ain't what puts this gold around your neck, on your fingers, buys the swimming pools, and won you that new blazer. I tell you what did it is being hungry, having your priorities in line, because when I was a young boy, my cousin Ole taught me one thing that I remembered. He says, win if you can, lose if you must, but always kick somebody's butt. This is a matter of pride with me, Stubbs. Ain't nobody going to pin me. Let's see if you're man enough to keep your end up, because I'm tired of losing, and I'm going to kick somebody's butt. And I'm, at this point, I don't care who it is. I'm getting what I want out of the match. I promise you that. Okay, Mr. Arn Anderson. Uh, Arn always what? speaks the truth. He never lies. He tells you exactly like it is, and when he says it, he's going to do it. Okay, uh, as we said, we did not... Uh, get the chance to get both Stubbs and Anderson together and of course uh, many of you know the reasons why and we heard that uh, comment made by Arn Anderson as far as that uh, was concerned as to his feelings toward Jerry Stubbs now this uh, puts you in a kind of a funny situation managing a team like this I can manage any kind of team I want to at any time I want to I know how I am a professional manager and that's all it that needs to be said Right now, let's hear the comments made earlier from Jerry Stubbs. Oh, Arn Anderson, you know, you've been running your mouth for several weeks. You've been saying that I'm not holding up to my end of the bargain. I'm not carrying my load. I'm not doing what I should or I'm supposed to or what you want me to do. Well, I'm telling you, I'm just as good as you are. And you know that. What you're saying in a roundabout way is that you're better than I am. That you're better than everybody. Well... Let every man think his own way. And the way I think, you know, you're saying, I'm the loser, you're the winner. Well, I'm no loser. These people around here know it. They may not like me, but they know I'm no loser. And in this match coming up right here in Dope, you know, it's a, a loser of the team splits. Well, let's go a little bit further. Let's say if the loser of the fall gets pinned, the whoever gets pinned, let's say, uh, Adios. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Let's hit the road. Can you do that, Art Anderson, if you're better than I am? Huh. 
Let's see. Well, they won't beat me. If they beat me, I'll adios. I'll be out of here. You won't have to worry about me. I'll leave. But they won't beat me. I'll prove to you, Art Anderson, that I'm a winner. Mm, a lot of problems for the Billy Spears family, I would think, coming up in the arena. And that's it from this side right now. Let's go back to Rick Stewart. Let's point out right now that whatever agreement Mr. Anderson and Mr. Stubbs make between themselves about somebody uh, leaving is not sanctioned by Southeastern uh, Championship Wrestling. That'll strictly be an agreement between the two of them. What is sanctioned by Southeastern Wrestling Rat Patrol is that the title is on the line and the losing team must split. That's exactly right, Rick. You know, it's come down to this. We've been through street fights, tornado matches, cage matches, six mans. We've done it all. And that's come down to the final deal right here. This is it. The losing team must split. You can see they're having a lot of problems. The Rat Patrol, you know, they say that one of them's going to leave or something. That's between them. That's not us. We can get beat at any time because every dog has his day. Any man can get beat at any time, but it's not going to happen to the Rat Patrol and we're not leaving. One thing's for sure, it's going to be settled in the arenas. The losing team must split. The title's on the line and that's today's personality profile. Ladies and gentlemen, this match one fall a 10 minute time limit. In the corner to my left at 240 pounds, Washington, D.C.'s Pork Chop Cash. <laughs> His opponent, 275, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Mike Thor. Mike Thor taking on Pork Chop Cash, and we're seeing him for the first time in action. And Thor decides to uh, take a few shortcuts before the match even starts. Cash! Unleashing against Thor. Series of rights and lefts. Pork Chop Cash coming to life. And he is uh, quite a He's interesting down the receiver. Mike Thor is that uh, you don't fool around with Pork Chop Cash like that. His very first match in pro wrestling, he came out of the audience and beat John Tolles for the Americans Heavyweight Championship at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. And ever since then, it's been straight uphill for Pork Chop Cash. He's been uh, in wrestling in and around the Tennessee area, down into Arkansas, South Carolina, and North Carolina. And he has compiled a record for himself to be the envy of anybody in this sport. Pork Chop Cash taking Thor in those uh, ring ropes. Snap Mare takedown. Quite an individual, Pork Chop Cash, and as Rick was mentioning, some kind of a reputation in pro wrestling. And he's just as colorful outside of the ring as he is inside of the ring. He seems to have formed a kind of brotherhood of kindred spirits with the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol. Now Pork Chop Cash cinching down on that chin lock, showing that he can wrestle as well as get up and fight. Thor raking the eyes of Pork Chop Cash, but now Cash is back up on his feet, giving Mike Thor a little bit of his own medicine. Cash taking Thor into those ring ropes. Oh! Headbutt. And that's the end of Mike Thor. The headbutt from Pork Chop Cash and a big win. His first appearance here on Southeastern Championship Wrestling. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. When you hear that somebody's killed, you almost know that it's to a drinking driver. I want to know one thing. Why are we being avoided by the Southeastern Tag Team Champions? We beat everybody in the area. We want a shot at them, okay? And why aren't we wrestling on TV today? We're the greatest team in America in the world. Well, you understand. Why not? You understand that? We came down here to wrestle on TV. We came down here to take on the Rat Patrol and show them and everyone else that we are the best. You know, we have already wiped out the Armstrongs. We beat them until they can't hardly walk. You understand that? Where is there? Where are they here? Why are we not on TV like we're supposed to be? You don't have to, to speak with the promotion about that as far as uh, who wrestles on TV. That's all we've done lately is talk. We have asked about this. We've asked about that. And we've asked why we're not uh, uh, title holders. We have asked the promotion everything there is to ask. And all we get is no results. Well, that's all right. We'll take things in our own hands. We'll handle it our way. You understand that one? That's it. That's, uh, I guess. You want to 
Professor, we're here. We'll get them out of the ring. You come on in right now. We go right now. Let me tell you something right yeah, now. They're yeah, shut yeah, up and let me finish. Yeah, They're just luckily very, very fortunate that they don't have a signed contract. Otherwise, we'd go in there and in defeat them. Not only beat them, but embarrass them in front of everybody. You understand? Uh, that? Contract, I don't think, would be keeping you from going in the ring. Uh, you just keep running your mouth. I said they're fortunate. All right, uh, Wrestling 2 and Wrestling 1 uh, boarding the situation. Let's go to the ring right now. And this is today's television main event, one fall, TV time remaining. In the corner to my left at a combined total of 478 pounds, Bob and Steve Armstrong. Their opponents at a combined total of 457 pounds, Tommy Gilbert and Paul Brown. All right, it's uh, Paul Brown, Tommy Gilbert taking on the Armstrong family, we'll call them. Bob and Steve. Bob starts off against uh, Tommy Gilbert. We've seen uh, a bit of action out of the Armstrongs on television before, but never signed as uh, a match to actually take place. Well, they, they worked very, very well as a combination together. As you can see, they spent a lot of time practicing their maneuvers in the ring. And now Steve Armstrong getting a little bit of the better of Tommy Gilbert, forcing the veteran back into the corner. For a guy who's only been in pro wrestling a very short amount of time, this Steve Armstrong's really captured the imagination of the people here in the Southeast, Charlie. He showed that natural style in the ring, uh, combined with that tremendous strength. I mean, at 240 pounds, this guy has all the tools it takes to be a great wrestler. Colin Elbow over on the ropes right now. Steve Armstrong with a clean break. Steve and Bob Armstrong. This is part of the Armstrong wrestling family. Of course, uh, older brother Brad competing all over the world. Scott Armstrong, part of the Rat Patrol Incorporated. And now it's Bob and Steve, his tag team partner. Side headlock by uh, Paul Brown on Steve Armstrong. Let's see what he can do with Armstrong. It'll be interesting to see when we get to the arena this week. Tornado tag rules between Bob and Steve and uh, Mr. Wrestling number one and Mr. Wrestling number two, who had a little bit to say for themselves a little bit earlier. They'll have to prove it in the ring. All four men in the ring at once. It's a dangerous kind of back lap. The tag to Bob Armstrong. And as Steve blocks for the tag, Bob comes in and takes right over on Paul Brown. Brown caught it right to the side of the head. Brown head first into that turnbuckle now. To Steve waiting on uh, Brown. Couple of chops by Bob Armstrong into those ring ropes. In comes Steve, good elbow. Great teamwork, Bob tagging in and out. And now Steve Armstrong closing in on Paul Brown, lifting high up over his head almost effortlessly. Steve now slowly closing in, and here's the thing, I think that really set Steve Armstrong off. A lot of younger wrestlers had rushed right in, but Steve Armstrong apparently, listening to his dad's advice, is very cautious inside the ring, and I think that's what gets him a lot of these big victories they've been having. Brown now being backed into that turnbuckle by Steve Armstrong. Armstrong fires away. Couple of rights. Tommy Gilbert still standing on the ring apron. Upcoming another shot at the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship now held by the Rat Patrol Incorporated. He's had his uh, run-ins with Armstrongs before too. He sure has. Side headlock, and uh, well, in the situation with the U.S. Junior title, he's still having oh, a run in with a Armstrong. You never know which uh, member of the Rat Patrol Incorporated will be defending that title. Bob Armstrong now starting up on Paul Brown. Brown not able to get much going against the bullet. Bob Armstrong now moving in after that chop to the top of the chest. Oh, I heard that one all the way over here. Armstrong firing those chops, and again, oh, almost to a dead move uh, 
ground completely off of the mat. Uh, as Bob Armstrong was chopping Paul Brown, he said, this one's for you, Gilbert. Knocked Paul Brown back into the corner, and Gilbert didn't seem real eager to take the tag and get in the ring. Oh, no. Look at Steve Armstrong. Good connection by Steve. Into the ring ropes. There's that knee coming off of the ropes by Steve Armstrong. Side headlock again by Armstrong. Wearing his man down. That's countless hours in the gym that Steve Armstrong spends along with his dad and his brothers. He's working out with the weights, getting the kind of physique that he has that enables him to maneuver a man like Paul Brown around the ring with a very little amount of effort. Brown trying or has made a couple of attempts at getting out of that side headlock. And when it comes to the test of strength, uh, it's uh, Steve Armstrong that takes it every time. Steve goes right to tag to Bob. They're keeping a fresh man in all the time. And Bob switches to a leg attack on Paul Brown. Ooh. Bob's been wrestling all across the country, fulfilling some various commitments. Still remaining one of the most popular figures in the sport, but here in his adopted home of the Southeast, it seems that he really finds that extra spark that leads him up the ladder. Good headbutt by Armstrong. Paul Brown. <clears throat> Tag is made with uh, Steve Armstrong now. <clears throat> Bob Armstrong making the block. Steve going for the ropes with Paul Brown turns around and Tommy Gilbert backs up a couple of paces when Steve got in his face. Uh, don't believe uh, Mr. Gilbert is uh, overly anxious to see action in this particular match. It appears that way. It doesn't uh, appear so far that he has been. Tag is now made with Gilbert and uh, oh, Gilbert. Going to work on Steve Armstrong. And Gilbert may have picked his spot in the match, but he's certainly given it everything he's got. Flailing away at the chest of Steve Armstrong, ducking in with those short forearms that he uses so well. Really, there's anybody in wrestling that throws a better forearm than Tommy Gilbert does. Catching the elbow of Paul Brown, and uh, Brown now back in. Oh, caught by Armstrong. Tag is made with Bob Armstrong. Armstrong leveling both uh, Gilbert and Brown. Now all four men in the ring at the same time. And this is a situation we'll have upcoming in the arena under tornado tag rules. Now Steve fighting on the floor with Tommy Gilbert neck and neck. Bob's got the pin on Paul Brown. But here comes Wrestling 1 and Wrestling 2. Uh, wrestling 1's got the chair. 2's just giving Bob a knee lift. Oh! oh. Tommy Gilbert's got a hold of Steve Armstrong's foot. He can't get in the ring, and Bob's out cold. And now it's uh, Wrestling 2 putting the boots to Steve Armstrong. In comes Scott Armstrong, Johnny Rich, soccer kid, red patrol. Wrestling 1 and 2 uh, finding their way out of the ring. Bob Armstrong still down from getting jammed into that metal chair that Wrestling 1 had in his hand. And... Uh, Wrestling one and two certainly uh, showing their sportsmanship. And, uh, yes. I don't know about those two, but uh, everyone seems to be all right in the ring. We'll be back with more of Southeastern Television Wrestling in just a moment. Would you like night of Southeastern Championship Wrestling this Monday night, Birmingham's Beltwell Auditorium at 8 p.m. You'll see sensational black star Pork Chop Cash meet Paul Brown, U.S. Junior Tuttle, The Rat Patrol, and Tommy Gilbert. Jimmy Golden takes on the Ontario Mauler. Tornado Tag Rules as Bob and Steve Armstrong meet Mr. Wrestling number one and Mr. Wrestling number two. Then, Southeastern Tag Team title. The losing team must split as the Rat Patrol meet Arn Anderson and Jerry Stubbs. And in the main event for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship, Austin Idol defends against Boris Zirkoff. Monday night, Beltwell Auditorium at 8 p.m. 
lot is at stake at the arenas. Uh, that uh, big uh, losing team must split next tornado tag match. Way, excuse me, but I want to say something. I may have a knot on my head, but before this tornado match is over, there's going to be knots all over their bodies, you understand? And not only tornado, they might have a cyclone, they might have a hurricane, they might have a twister, and if I have to twist their heads off in the mass with it, that's fine. If they want to play with chairs, we'll play musical chairs. I'll make them a C-flat, brother. <laughs> Fourth Bob Armstrong, he and Steve going up against wrestling one and two. Tornado tag rules. Also, the big uh, Southeastern title match, Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol against Boris Zirkoff. Right now, let's hear from wrestling one and two and Boris Zirkoff. Match for Boris Zirkoff. He goes against the Universal Heartthrob Austin Don't Idol. This is three minutes, 30. When Austin Idol, remember flight W07? The American plane that went down. They come in our backyard. No, you're in my backyard, Ador. I want your title. And when I'm done with you, Ador, I'm going to drape this flag over you. I'm going to make a communist out of you, Ador. Communism. It's the only way, Ador. Let me say something right now, Idol. You've been coming out here running your mouth, and you know for a fact you can't beat this big Russian. You haven't even had a taste of him yet. So be ready, my friend. Tonight, he's going to put you down just like he said he was. Well, we're standing by waiting for the appearance of these listen, gentlemen. Listen, hey, listen, listen, Armstrongs, this is just an example of what's going to happen to you guys if you don't get out of our face. Now, these little bitty skinny rat patrol people, they call themselves, you put your foot the wrong place, brother. You guys seem to be taking a little bit of things into your own hands. Listen, we are tired of asking. Now we're going to take. We're going to take everything we can get a hold of. Armstrong, you're finished. Rat patrol, we're coming after you, whether you like it or not. Okay, wrestling one and two, boys, and now coming out to join with the Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol. You know, I heard some of the comments just then, Charlie. I heard that Russian slob talking about Flag 007 that was shot down by a heat-seeking missile from a Russian league jet that killed innocent people. What the hell are you talking about making a communist enemy? You're going to have to drag me. From here the kingdom come before you make a communist enemy. I'm not only going to defend this belt for me, Jack. I'm going to defend it for every American living soul in the area. And I'm going to jam this down your big Russian mouth the first chance I get. Briefly, in closing, we had a chance to see uh, Pork Chop Cash for the first time on hey, television hey, today. What a debut he made. Plus, so everybody's looking forward to this uh, one particular match. Everybody's been asking for it, and now here it is. Southeastern Tag Team titles are on the line. The losing team has got a split. It's the end. One team will be no more next week here on Southeastern Championship Wrestling. Iron Anderson and Jerry Stubbs against the Rat Patrol Incorporated. The Rat Patrol Incorporated certainly uh, have a lot to lose in this situation. Young team as they are, uh, holding on now to the Southeastern Tag Team Championships. And uh, you look at that whole corporation, they have the structure of that uh, with the uh, U.S. Junior title at stake, too, in that situation. There could be some complications should they come up the losers. As exactly who would be the actual holder of the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship, you know, because it's split between the three of them right now. Uh, it's anybody's guess, Charlie. All right.